so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even tried anything. It's going pretty good so far. Yeah. It's going great. Still turning up the hand. I'm pretty strong. <laughs> Are you? <ya>? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Probably locked up. <laughs> block out. Another big block out. Still got another one to do. Uh, but yeah, we just keep they just keep coming. So. We. I mean, you quit taking stuff on. I don't even know who these people are, so. What, uh, what are we doing, Dad? Well, you know, we built one jet boat motor. Yeah. For guy. And this is his, I guess, spare. Okay. Uh, so we're building another one. We're building another jet Another boat. big block. It's basically identical to that uh, four, uh, that 461 we built that had the aluminum heads on it. Yeah. Except this one's iron, got brick board heads. Oof, those are heavy. Same camshaft and stuff though. Both motors probably gonna make the same power. I don't yeah. know, that one would be a little more torquey in my mind. Uh, these brake ports are gonna kill the bottom end, but but we don't have all the parts. Uh, I mean, I think I got enough stuff to put the short block together, and then we're gonna have to go through his stuff and just see what he's got, so. Okay, I so. I think we're gonna be missing some rock, like his rock rods are stamped steel rockers and stuff, I'm not putting that on. I refuse to put that yeah. stuff on here, and he don't care. He just said, whatever I need, let's do it, so. Okay, so another big block. Now. Another big block, this is a 468, it's 60 over, so. Okay. It's been in our shop for a while. It's been here. It, it was in a machine shop for three years, and he finally went and got it. Yeah. So it's got just a light surface rust on the cylinders, but I've already wiped them all out. Not a problem. No, because you can still see the cross hatches <laughs> and everything. We get oil to it. It's going to stop that. Yeah. All right. I put this is a one-piece rear seal, so I put it in here. No more. Jason, I, got, I, got I don't it. know what Jason's doing. No more. In. Cranks in. You file works. fitted the rings. I know you hate doing that, but you file fitted thing them. To do. Yeah. And then we got all the pistons on the rods and loaded. So, yep. so really, we're we're ready to start throwing some pistons in this thing, right? Yeah. We're just gonna. Got know. a little bit. Of time. We got 30 minutes, but I kind of feel like we could knock them in. I don't okay. know. We're gonna try it anyway. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even tried anything. I haven't even tried pretty good so far. Yeah. It's going great. Oh. How are we looking? Pretty good? Uh, sure. Okay. Woo! The rings are still. I knew when I was grinding. We'll probably roll them around and I'll probably hit some. Um, it seems to be the trend on. Or we get a whole motor side in. Doing. Get the whole side in. And then... Oh, whoop! Almost got me. Where you got cat workers? No doubt. I think Matt's already got his diesel sold. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard him saying, so. 
That's awesome. I mean, I honestly, he texted me at the day listed and said, I think it's already pending. I said, ooh, listed it too cheap. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing you think when you, but when I saw it and as clean as that one is, I thought, eh, you might. Cause I think the one down at uh, Gene Irons is a good deal. That one but it's, it's got 200,000 miles though. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take the white F-250, the Aspen F-250 you can get servers. Get fuel filter. The... Yeah, that's probably smart. very many two street cars really yeah uh, and then small tire didn't seem like it was that big of a class either I mean, it's still 20 20 something pairs oh was there 22 pairs oh okay i didn't first know round. and small tire yeah i ain't done 40 cars but i mean normally well that's the guy 60 was, cars the guy is still like watching it he didn't really say like it, it didn't say real street, true street, or nothing, you know, he just went to class and class. And class. But it seems like a bunch in real street. I mean, yeah. Jimmy Dale won real street. Daily, daily, daily driver. driver. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Not real street, daily driver. And I'm like, I don't know about that car for daily driver. I don't know about Tim's for daily driver either. Yeah, like I said, I mean, Tim but don't. Just like me dropping to true street, I think True Street cars are having to drop the daily driver just to be competitive anymore. Everybody's so freaking fast, you know? Well, most small tire cars aren't full cool tube chassis cars. Yeah. You know, so they're going to go into True Street and uh, all the True Street cars that were competitive, because they were True Street cars, aren't competitive anymore. Right. You know? I mean, some of them are. <laughs> But most of the True Street cars aren't going to be competitive against no. your car or Devil Blue or whatever. Right. You know. I think the last three or four big races that we went to, if you if you would have had your electric shifter the whole time. Like you would have had a very good chance of winning or well like that devil's glue car i don't know that i'd have beat him to the end but i was right with him and i got on my scramble right away and started making a move on him stuck it right neutral yeah that's what i'm saying i think i don't know if we would have won the whole thing on any of the races that we went to right where you stuck it in neutral but we would have Definitely uh, we would have went past the first round at least. Oh yeah. At, if not all of them. You know. Took us seven minutes to get all those in on that summit. Seven minutes. That's uh, good. Yeah. So this is where it all goes back. This there. is where everything takes a turn right here. It's no. doing it every time on this one. We got the exact same situation. Okay. I don't 
get it, man. Don't worry, I'm an expert at it right now. there for a second yeah i've been messing around on the vacation truck. and truck and everything so yeah, but we're well i think we've got everything to put this pretty much put this together i've got to i gotta change springs on the heads and all kinds of stuff that we didn't have to do on the last one okay but um anyway got a new single roller uh chain and then, really, well, we're just gonna be putting the. We're just gonna get the short block together and flip it over, and put the lifters in. And then I'm gonna be. I mean, I gotta pop valve springs on those heads. Yeah. We just got. We just got. In my defense, we just got the valve springs yesterday, but. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. We're getting dangerously close. I need to get I need to get an oil filter and some oil for it. Uh, this one I don't know that we're gonna fire it since I think this is just literally. A, I'm gonna oil it up good, like oil the cylinders real good. I don't know that we're gonna fire it because mm -hmm. I think he's it's just a spare it's motor. Just or a, it's gonna be sitting a long time. I'm just I'm more kind of worried about it really. Yeah. Okay. Well. We'll just get back to it, I guess. Yep. Cut that state well done with a knot. I mean, with a All right. Oil pump pickup tubes welded, Dad. Yeah. I'm just going to tell them why we did it so it doesn't fall out in the motor. Yeah, yeah, because like this is a factory style and there's nothing bolting it. Even if you bolt them, we've had them fall off before. And the Yeti, I had one that was bolted and it yeah. broke the tab off and fell yeah. off. Because a lot of times I'll screw when the I was tab in down and we'll weld the nut or the bolt to the tab so it can't back out, yeah. you know. But but yours actually, the piece that was welded to this broke, broke off, off mm. and it just fell off in there. You still raced it, still won the final. I was on the cruise in the Yeti in Kansas City and had uh, eight pounds of oil pressure or something. And then it'd get oil pressure when I was making a pass because all the oil, oil would run, run, to, run the to the back and it would pick it up. But but when you let off, it would go When I let zero. off, it'd go to zero because it all rushed forward. But you so. know, we took that thing all apart and it didn't even have a bearing mark yeah. on it you know yeah i won the class and then brought it home and we took it apart like the next day and it was fine yeah there was
cancel that. Pretty high, considering. Uh, hey, we're not one short. Yeah, that, you can have it all double. I had a double nut on. You didn't want to go anywhere. You had it all double nut. Yeah, it had it locked in. Gaskets. Um, I gotta put oil in it and prime it up. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna definitely spray the cylinders with extra oil, figuring it's gonna set. Unless I'll check with a guy today and see if he's if he's got a distributor and stuff. I really wish, which we don't do very many conventional big or small blocks, but I wish we had just to. An ATI and a carb, and yeah, I wish we had a MSD uh, 6014 to test out. You know, I mean, again, the guy we built this for that's his stand, so yeah, but I'm really thinking of converting this stand to a run stand, it'd just be a lot more compact, and so we're probably going to start that motor on that stand. And if it all works out, we may. We may really focus on that. Okay, well, this motor's done unless we end up starting it, so. Yeah, if we start it, that'd be cool, but. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I, don't, I don't know that we are, because it's just the guy's spare engine. Yeah. So. So. All right, well. I think that'll be it for today's video, right? So another big block out. Another big block out. Still got another one to do, uh, but yeah, we just keep, they just keep coming, so. We. I mean, you quit taking stuff on, you just keep going with it. I don't even know who these people are, so. <laughs> yeah. But that'll be it for today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll holler at you later.